I'm Andres. And I'm Nazareth. And welcome back to AO Kids Sunday School Live. Live. We are so excited to have every single one of you back again with us here today. That's right. It's summer. We've been having a great time with our <gasps> AO Kids. How has been your summer vacation? <laughs> it has been pretty good. I went to the zoo. I went to game time. And I went to the pool. And how about the Frost Museum? Oh, yeah. I went to the Frost Museum. I saw so many dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. You know, after. But, but, but just their dinosaurs. bones because they don't exist anymore. That's right. <laughs> you want to hear, hear a dinosaur joke that one of the kids taught me? Oh, no. Here we go again with your joke. Okay, okay. Why can't you hear. Pterodactyls in the bathroom. Um, in the bathroom? Um, I don't know. Cause the P is silent. But um, I'm guessing that pterodactyl is spelled with a P. It is. It's a big word. Can you spell <laughs> pterodactyl? I'll try. I'll try. All right, guys, we're gonna have the word pterodactyl right here. Right That's... here, but we can't. See okay, it. let me think. All right. It starts P, with a P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. P T T. Sh I'm doing okay, it. Okay, okay, go. P T T E R T I T D A C T L. Pterodactyl. Did I say D A C T L Y? Do you know wow, it's pterodactyl? No, that no, is no. Y L. Y L. Wow, that's actually how you <laughs> spell it. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I think so. Anyways, Andres, I really, really missed you throughout all these episodes. You know, we went to the zoo without you, and we saw an elephant, and he had like this massive poop. What? And it smelled just like you. What are you? What? You think I smell like elephant? Anyways, poop? we're so happy to have you back. I guess I'm happy to be back. Good, because AO Kids is happy to have you. Well, I hope you guys are happy to, to see everything that we have next, like when we... But you know what I missed most? What? Our... Fizzbox! <laughs> All right, I feel better, I feel better. But what were you saying? That's enough fun and games. Why don't we all stand up... And get on our feet... For praise, praise and, and worship! worship.
Me, <laughs> me too. All right, you know, um, not to say that I wasn't focusing all my attention on God because I was. Were you distracted during <laughs> no, praise and worship? But I think that God must have revealed to me another dinosaur <gasps> joke. You know what? Me too. No way. Let's hear yours. Okay, this is my joke that I thought during praise and worship. Okay. So the joke goes, uh, how do you Bell. Okay. Pterodactyl. <laughs> this is a joke that I was thinking about during praise and worship. Let's Are you hear. ready to hear I'm it? Here. I'm ready to hear it. All right, it goes. Why can't you hear okay. pterodactyls pee in the bathroom? Nazareth, I just said this joke. Because the pee is silent. But that's okay, that's okay. You still deserve a fist bump! <laughs> okay, okay, I have a joke, I have a joke. Are okay, you ready? go, ready? go, go. Okay, why can't Tyrannosaurus Rex's T-Rexes oh. clap? Um, or get fist bumps? Um, because, because, I don't know. Because their arms are too short. Oh, <laughs> Joke. All right, let's hear. Let's Why hear. Why can't T Rexes clap? <laughs> Why? Because they're dead. Silly. <laughs> that was good. That was good, right? What a knee Fist slapper! Bop. <laughs> Fist Fist bop. Bop. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's enough with the dinosaur jokes. They're getting kind of old. <laughs> that's. True. All right, all right, all right. So. Oh, because they're old. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. That's okay. You got it. All right. So <laughs> today we're talking about something very, very special and awesome. That's right. But before we give you guys more information and start talking about the lesson today, we actually have a very, very special friend who's gonna share with us today a very the, special verse. A very special verse about today's lesson. So take it away. Hi, I'm Paige. My name is Matthew Herman, and today I'm going to be reading 1 John 1 7, and it says, But if we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus' Son purifies us from all its sins. What this is trying to tell us is that if we walk in the, in the Jesus path, the right path, um, the Holy Spirit will cleanse us, and we will all love one another since it's the perfect path. And that's what it's trying to tell us. Bye, kids. Wow, thank you. Yeah, I love that verse, but it's kind of scary. That verse was really mighty for me. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't even like shower that often, right? But like when I do- You don't shower? Okay, I, let no me... wonder you smell like the elephant. <laughs> but when I do, <laughs> I didn't think the Bible wanted us to shower and clean ourselves in blood. What? Yeah, but Jesus' blood? And Jesus' blood is different than your stinky blood. <laughs> How is my blood stinky? It's in my body. Well, all of our blood are stinky because we're sinners, but Jesus is oh, perfect. Oh, but but we still have to have like literal physical blood and scrub it in ourselves and stuff like that? Well, not exactly. What do you mean? Well, you know, Jesus. His blood was shed on the cross. That's right. And it cleanses us spiritually. Amen. Spirit. And it makes us clean. White as snow. White as snow. But what dirties us? What dirties us? Um, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to... We don't want to spoil it. We don't want to spoil the whole lesson. But we actually have a girl in the Bible who, you know, she was actually dirty mm. by something and Jesus' blood had to cleanse her. That's but, right. But, 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 why don't we find out about it now? All right, why don't we check it out right here? Hmm. Uh, Rabbi, this woman has broken faith with her husband. We caught her in the very act. We know now that you are a great judge. So we brought her to you. The law of Moses says she should be stoned to death. 
But uh, what do you say? Uh, Rabbi, did you hear us? We must have your answer, Master. What is it? Let him who has no sin cast the first stone. Woman, where are thine accusers? Do none condemn you? Oh, wow! You... I thought something horrible was going to happen. <laughs> Thank God it that didn't. That Jesus was there. That's right. Because Jesus saved her like he saves us. That's right. <laughs> and, you know, Jesus saved her. Jesus was like a Superhero. Jesus is our superhero. That's the right. The ultimate superhero. Jesus is the ultimate superhero. That's right. And he saved her from what, from what he saves all of us from. And what is that? Sin. sin. Because sin is super duper bad for us. And actually sin is separation from God. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, in the Old Testament, all the way in the days of Moses. That right? was a really, really long beast. Beast, that's right, B.C. We're talking about, you know, Genesis, Exodus, first two long, books of the Bible. Long that's time right, ago. you know, but, you know, there was like not much of a structure to anything, and God wanted to live amongst his people. So he gave them some rules what's right, what's wrong, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, what's good, and what's sin, so that they could be pure and righteous and holy, and he can live among them. That's right. And every single time they did something bad, they would have to go through this really kind of complicated and mm. long process in order to cleanse mm. themselves. And that's why Jesus' blood is so important. That's right. But these rules were really, really, really strict. You know, they were like, for example, if you... Wait, let me think, let me think. If, don't lie. No, no. If you don't clean... If your room isn't clean for one day, they will take away all your electronics for a whole month. Oh, no. I don't think I would ever have electronics mm, in that case. That's right. They're so <laughs> they're, they were pretty strict. And this woman got caught doing some very, very nasty sins. And what was the punishment, the consequence for her sin? Being stoned to death. Basically, they were going to throw a bunch of rocks at her to hurt her. Until she died. And nobody wants that to go like that. That must have hurt really bad. Mm -hmm. But thank God Jesus was there to save her. That's right, because at this time, like during this era, during this chapter of life, Jesus was actually a teacher. Mm -hmm. And so people would actually go to Jesus to kind of like ask him yeah, for yeah. advice but, and be like, but, what do you think we should why do? Why were they like, why were did Jesus jump really high? Because they were like, rabbit, rabbit, when they were talking to Jesus. No, not rabbit. I heard them in the Rabbi. videos. Rabbi. <laughs> Rabbi. What does that mean? It's kind of like pastor or like priest or like teacher. Oh, that's right. I remember now. It's most like teacher. So like kind of like rabbit, rabbit, rabbi, rabbi, teacher, teacher. Have you ever called your teacher mom? <laughs> Because there was this one time I called my teacher mom and it was really embarrassing. <laughs> that must have been really embarrassing. I've never but done that. But she said it was okay because sometimes that happens a lot. She oh, said. yeah, yeah. Did that could... ever happen to you? I don't know. I'm not going to remember. Maybe when I was younger. Hey, so. yo, kids, did that ever happen to you? you let us be, know. You can be honest. That's right. You let us know. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, you know, Jesus has a lot of names that people give him. People call him Rabbi, which means teacher, Messiah, which Son means... Son of the living God. Messiah, which means Savior. The Holy Lamb. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> Lamb of God, Son of Man. All of these things, Jesus has these names, and they all mean something different, but they're all who he is. That's right. And so 
when they were about to stone and throw these rocks at this woman, they were like, Jesus, what do you think we should do? Mm -hmm. And what did he That's do? That's right. Because let me he grabbed... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> because yeah, Jesus was walking around saying, oh, you know, I am the Messiah. I am the you know, son of God. The son of God. You know, that is me. I came here to save you all. But not everybody believed him, especially, mm -hmm. believe it or not, the teachers of the law. That's right. So they were actually trying to test him mm -hmm. to see if they, he would do that's something. That's right. That's right. They were like putting evil. him in like in a sticky situation, right? Because right. you know, if you really are the son of God, and you know, and you know, and God gave us these rules, then you would listen to these rules. But but if you're also the son of God, then you're not going to be okay with one of your children being killed. That's true. So, so what are you mm -hmm. going to do? So and Jesus whipped out a big brain move because he is like the smartest person ever, right? He literally is the smartest person ever. That's right. And so he decided to, you know, let go and, and, and kneel down and you start drawing in the sand. And like, that's what? How did that work? Yeah, he would just grab his finger and draw in the sand. Wow. Well, we can't know exactly what he was drawing in the sand because Nobody the Bible... Nobody knows to this day. The Bible doesn't specify. A lot of people believe that what he was doing was writing down the sins of all of those men around him. Can you imagine? Whoa, that is a lot of sin. I know. And he said, he went down and he was going, you know, like let's say somebody in the crowd, their name was like Pepito. Pepito, you stole five dollars from Juanita, and then he starts oh, writing all their sins. Because Jesus knows everything. Because Jesus knows everything, and and you know, and he was just proving to everybody that you know everybody sins, right? And then so when he so while he was writing, he says, you know, he who was without sin cast the first stone. That's right, and. In all honesty, everyone had to drop their stones or no one even picked up a mm -hmm. stone. Wait, wait, wait. But that's kind of like like hard, big biblical words. So what Jesus was basically saying, in case some of us don't really know what that means, it means that if you are perfect, if you are sinless, if you have never lied or cheated or thought a, a bad thought or, or anything that would make God sad, if you have done none of those things, which we all have, then you can be the first person to throw the rock at the woman. That's right. And so in that moment, everyone who either had a stone or who was about to pick up a stone, they realized, hey, the same way this woman is a sinner, I'm also a sinner. The That's same right. way that she had, she's done bad stuff, I've done bad stuff too. And so since I'm not perfect and since I am not free of sin, I can't be the one to throw a rock at this per at this woman and you know condemn this woman and and you know you know punish this woman because I am as guilty as she is. That's right. You know, at the end of the day, all of us are born sinners and it's and it's you know kind of like in our nature to to be to sin. But Jesus saves us from that. Jesus cleanses us with his blood, like the verse said. And so what happens? Everybody drops their stones because no one's going to throw the first one and walks away. And you know what's so beautiful about all of this? Mm. Is that it's ironic and it's funny how Jesus was the one who said that because Jesus was the only person who was completely free of sin. That's a good point. He was the only person that was completely perfect and pure and clean mm. but Jesus would never throw a rock at her because he had compassion for this woman that's right and you know like that's so important that you say that because Jesus the only reason that he could save us and cleanse us with his blood and not any other blood not the blood of you know your uncle not the blood of a pepito pepito not the blood of anybody else was because Jesus was the only one who was perfect and blameless and pure that's why you know when I read when I was little and I read that Jesus um, resurrected Lazarus. Do you guys know? Mm -hmm. Have we said the story on your kids? Lazarus? No, we haven't said that story. That's a story for another time. Spoiler alert. Next week, <laughs> maybe, we might be talking maybe, about Lazarus. Okay. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Jesus resurrects. This Lazarus dies and Jesus raises him from the dead. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, wait a minute. Isn't that the whole, like, isn't, like, since Lazarus rises from the dead, isn't he, like, the savior of everybody because he, like, died and came back? But no, because Lazarus, he was a man, and he sinned while he was on earth, That's but right. not Jesus. And That's Jesus right. is the only one. That's right. And so at the very, very end of the story, you know, Jesus literally saves this woman, and everyone drops her stone and mm -hmm. walks away, right? Mm -hmm. And so this woman is on her knees, and she's crying, and she's just amazed at this moment. And Jesus grabs her and puts her to her feet and he looks at her and he's like look around do you see anyone around you and mm -hmm. she says no everyone has left and Jesus tells her do you know what you must do now and then she's like 
Yes, and he was like, okay, go and do not sin again. That's right. So, you know, Jesus, although he has compassion for us and he forgives us for our sins and he cleanses us of our sins, he still reminds us that we must not sin. So, you know, even though we know that God forgives us and he cleanses us of our sin, we still need to be obedient, obedient to his word and not sin against God. That's right. But, you know, we can't do it by ourselves. We can't just say, okay, I'm going to be perfect and never sin again. You know, how do, that, how do we know that that woman had a real change in her life, in her heart? It's because she had that encounter with Jesus, right? Because when we encounter Jesus, everything changes. Wow, I think it's so amazing that God cleanses us from our sins, but mm -hmm. I wish I could have, like, I wish I could understand it more. I have an idea. Follow me. Andres, where did you go? Come on. Oh, ah! Here we are. In the lab. <laughs> In the lab. And here we, wait a minute. Um, Nazareth. What? These are the wrong goggles. These are swimming goggles, not science goggles. Says the one who's wearing a cardigan. This is my lab coat. No, it's not. Anyways, oh. as a chemist. What? Chemist? As a chemist. Okay. We are going to show and demonstrate to you what happens with God, us, and sin. Wait, what? How are we going to do that? I don't know. You tell me. Okay, so I see some... Something here says sin, and this says us, and this says God. That's right. So the whole point of the experiment is to explain that God cleanses us from our sin. Whoa. So shall we begin? Let's do it. So. Breaking good. Here we got. What is this, you may ask? Looks like sin to me. This is sin. All black and dark. And, and nasty. Nasty. Yep. And no one wants sin, right? But nope. then when us, which is we, when we sin. You and I. Why don't you show them what happens when sin enters us? So when we make a mistake that goes against what God wants, a sin is anything that we say, think, or do that goes against God's will or breaks his heart, this is what happens. That's right. Whenever we lie. How much do I put? Whenever we cheat. Oh my goodness. A lot of lying. We, a lot of cheating. Whenever we. What am I, whenever uh, we punch other kids in the face. Punch other kids in the face. Keep going. Break keep the going. law. Break disobey the your law, mom. Disobey, disobey your teacher. Your uh, when you. Say mean things. Say lie. Mean, bully people. Am okay, I going all I the way? Enough. Okay. And then. <sighs> that's what a lot of sins. To us? We were all clean. Wait, where's the, the clear part? It's gone. It's gone. Now we are contaminated. We look bad, and we are dark just like the sin. Do you uh, want to be dark like the sin? Heck no. Heck no. Wait. And this is where God comes into place, right? Because this represents God. Ooh. And what is God? God is clean. He's holy. Pure. pure righteous. Amazing. Just, yes, there's loving. a lot of words. Don't forget, we are highly trained professionals. We That's have right. So, so here I am grabbing God. We, Whoa. Let me let me grab God. Whoa. I thought we were professionals. My goggles are a little, they're a little blurry. Alright, kids. Remember, if you guys are gonna do this, do not try this at home. Try it at your friend's house, okay? Even better. Fist bump. bump. Alright, here's we have safety goggles. We have our lab coats of safety. And you know what? I trust you to do this while you do this. I trust you so much that I'm just gonna be right, right over here. But, Go. But, but what if it blows up in my face? No, I, you, I, no I, you're I, a professional. I believe in you. But I would rather you do it. Well, I don't wanna do it. I'm scared. I mean, I, I want you to have the fun experience. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so this is what happens. Sin okay. entered us and we turned dark and nasty okay. and icky. Okay. But then God came to save us, uh -huh. right? Jesus. And remember that verse we were talking about earlier today when it says that God's blood, Jesus', Jesus blood, blood, cleanses, cleanses us, us of our sin. So let's <laughs> happen really when God enters us when we are sinners. Okay. Here we go. Watch very carefully. What's happening? Don't miss it. It's, a, it's about to happen. Don't miss it. Okay, come on, come on. Ah! And we Whoa! are. Whoa! That was incredible. I think, Hallelujah. I think, I think we need a replay in slow motion. 
Okay, come on, come on! <laughs> just Truly happened amazing. all right i think we need to go back to the studio to finish our lesson <laughs> that's right okay here we go follow me ah! Woo all right wait Whoa. what why is it still on us oh we're my still, we're still wearing the stuff <laughs> are you okay oh. Oh, i forgot i was wearing this all right Whew. that was kind of a weird ride but we're back. So we're back. As you guys can see, this lesson was really jam packed. This lesson was really jam packed, but we have a couple of things we want you guys to remember. That's right. So go get your notebook, your pen, and why don't we jot down these three key points about today's lesson? All right. Are you guys ready for point number one? It is. Jesus calls us to be compassionate for one another. That's right. Point number two. Sin is separation from God. And point number three, Jesus is the only one who, can, who cleans us from sin. Wow, that's so amazing that Jesus loves us so much to clean our sin. That's right. And you know what he did was he had to die on the cross for our sins. And you know, but the good news is that he came back, he resurrected, and now he lives in our hearts and we get to live with him forever. In all of our hearts? Well, you have to accept him in your heart, but it's totally free, super simple, and you can do it right now. I want to accept Jesus in my heart. Do any of you guys want to accept Jesus in your heart? Well, if you do, you can do this right now, wherever you're at. I want you guys to bow your heads, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Let's do it. Say, Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. For my sins. I believe. I believe that you resurrected. That you resurrected three days later. Three days later. I ask. I ask that you come into my heart. That you come into my heart to be my Lord. To be my Lord and my Savior. And my Savior. I give my life to you. I give my life to you. I put my trust in you. I put my trust in you. I love you. I love you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This bomb! <laughs> All right. So now we go to my personal favorite part of AO Kids, which is AO Quiz. We have a couple questions that we want to ask you guys to make sure that you guys are paying attention to today's lesson. So why don't we pull up these questions? All right. Question number one, which says, what did the crowd want to do to the woman? Mm, what was her punishment mm. according to the law of Moses found in the book of Leviticus? And the correct answer is... Stone her, which is option C. C. Stone her. Stone her. That's right. <laughs> All number right. two. Question number two. I got this one. Why did the crowd want to stone her? Make sure you look at all your options. Mm, what does she do? And the correct answer is... Hey! She, she sinned. sinned. That's right, she sinned. And last question, number three. Says, after saving her, what did God tell the woman to do? Ooh, we have a couple options here. Make sure you read them very carefully. Go to the bathroom, I remember that. Anyways, and the correct answer is D. D. Go, Go and don't sin the, again. That's right. Amen. Amen. Fist bump. Did you hear that? You know what time it is. Game, Game time. time. So what are we playing today? Well, you're gonna have to follow me one more time. No, please, Here don't we go! Do it.
my gosh, I'm so, I'm so tall. Good thing we're That's sitting. That's right, right, have a seat. Uh, okay. <sighs> so. That was so much fun, but we want to know what's more fun than playing that crazy game. I know what it is, it's when we stand up. We get on our feet for, for praise and worship. worship. Before we go, because we've had a long lesson. And today's episode was so amazing. We have a couple of announcements to give you. We want to see you guys this Friday at here at AO Church for services in person. That's right. We have our services on Fridays and on Sundays, so we want to see you guys here. And save the date. And I said, save the date. August 13th, we are having a back to school. Bash. We are super excited because we want every single one of you guys to join us for our back to school bash because I know we're going back to school but we want to celebrate with you guys because we know that this year is going to be absolutely amazing so August 13th which is a Friday come by church. Why did you have to remind me that school is happening so soon? Because we're going to celebrate Okay. and it's going to be awesome. But are there going to be any... Fist bumps! Yes, of course there is going to be one. And we can't wait to see you guys next episode at AO Kids. But should we do one more fist pump? All right, all right. Fist, fist bump. bump! And one for you guys. Fist, fist bump! bump.